It's that time of the week again. Welcome back all the Seni fans to another unboxing of the Seni toys. Swift Desire. Yes, this time I've got a Swift Desire. Okay, this is a pretty old Swift Desire, so um, I don't think it'll be much interesting. But what's interesting is its details. Yes, the Seni toys put a lot of details into this car, but sadly, it's not door openable. Yes, that's the only sad part. I mean, come on, Senti Toys, why not? It is such a good looking car. I love the paint job. I can just see it through here. The paint job is really, really nice. And we'll check out more details in the unboxing part. But if you guys are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down there real quick. And don't worry, the links for this car will be in the description. But don't just go yet. Come on, guys, check out the video. You guys came here for the unboxing, right? I'll give you the unboxing. And if you want to check out more of my collections, like the Hot Wheels, which I have in the background, it'll be in the Instagram page. Yes, right here. You can check it out. And uh, oh, what else is there? Well, yeah, that's it, guys. Let's just go on for the unboxing. But before that, let's take a look at the box. So it's a quality product from Seni Toys. Pretty nicely done. I like the... Um, well, what is this? Okay, yeah, the Swift Desires uh, road picture, which is kind of nice. Okay, and this is the back. Well, yeah, the same cars which I actually collected, except for the Beleno. I don't have the Beleno, so I'll be getting that soon. Don't worry, guys. All right, then let's go for the unboxing right away, right now. The very first look of the Swift Desire. Okay, fine guys. First things first, the Seni Toys is actually improving their cars really fast. And wow, first things, the attention to detail on this car. The paint job is unbelievable. It's very nice and more glossier compared to other uh, Seni Toys models. Even better than the Swift, which is, I mean, the actual Swift, not the Desire version, which actually has the same paint job, but it's not as glossy as this one. So yeah, leaving that and this car has got really good attention to detail. The headlamps are pretty nicely carved out and the front chrome hasn't disappointed me this time. It looks good on this car. And yes, taking a look at the back, you have small attention to details like they haven't skipped out on the reverse lights or there on the tail lamps, which is really good. And this tiny exhaust, which has a body carve out too, which is very cool. And they haven't taken out the rear lamp over there inside, which is, again, a very good attention to detail. Love this car's design, and yet they don't disappoint in the tires too. It's really looking realistic as their grips are improving. And also it's written Desire right here, pretty nice. So, Sani Toys over here, that's also pretty cool. The interior hasn't really upgraded much. I think they, have, they could have done better, but you know, some compromises. Here we go for the pullback. Okay, that's pretty fast. So I really like this car, guys, in terms of details. Now let's go for its info. So looking at the specs of the Suzuki Swift Desire, this is actually the 2012 edition. And let's talk about its top speed at first. Yes, the top speed is pretty disappointing. 155 kilometers per hour, that's 96 miles per hour. And it won't go any further until you modify it. Well, going for the acceleration time, that's also pretty disappointing. They say it does it in 12.6 seconds, but I think it might take longer than that. Going for the horsepower, you have two engine options, which is a 1.2 liter inline four cylinder that produces 82 horsepower. And then you have a 1.3 liter inline four cylinder that's 75 horsepower. Well, that is actually a diesel engine. Uh, talking about that more, uh, first we'll go for the engines. Yes, uh, there is a 1.2 liter K12M inline four cylinder, that's a petrol engine. And then you have a 1.3 liter D13A, which is a turbocharged diesel engine and still puts out 75 horsepower, which is really embarrassing actually. Going for the transmission, you have a 5-speed manual and then you get a 4 or a 5-speed automatic. It's your choice for this Econo box. Going for the body style, it's a 4-door mid-size sedan. And this car is only available in front-wheel drive variants. There's no all-wheel drive. Anyways, who expects an all-wheel drive from this car? Okay, that would be pretty hilarious. Alright guys, that's the end of the info. So I hope you guys got some knowledge on this car. Now let's talk about its ratings. 
Okay, the ratings part, uh, out of a 10, I give it an 8 out of 10, guys, because of its details and details only, not because of its performance. So do comment your ratings down below. Let me know your thoughts on this car and subscribe if you guys are new. And that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. See you next time. DCS out. Thanks for watching and do subscribe!